in Portsmouth and Newport News confirmed two three year olds were shot and killed in separate cases just days apart. Tonight, News 3's Kelsey Jones is taking a closer look at proper gun safety as this issue impacts families. Police confirmed that a loaded gun left unattended took the life of a three year old boy in Portsmouth Monday. And on Friday, another three year old was accidentally shot to death in Newport News. So I spoke with a local retired police officer about this growing concern. A possible three year old that was shot in the head. First, we have to recognize that we have a crisis at our hand. And I don't think that some people recognize it yet, but we do. The situation is getting worse. Gun violence, leaving families heartbroken and kids dead. Until something is done, children are going to continue to die. We are seeing it firsthand here on Hampton Roads. Monday, I learned through court documents that a three-year-old was shot and killed by a loaded and unattended gun. Just a few days later, a three-year-old in Newper News was accidentally shot to death. Both of these cases come after a two-year-old was accidentally shot in Portsmouth last August. When we're dealing with these type of situations, it's, it's a whole community that starts to hurt. Daryl Redman runs an anti-violence group in Portsmouth called Give Back to the Block. He says the shooting in Portsmouth hits home for him. He knew the three-year-old and his family, and he's tired of seeing young people being victims of gun violence. The first thing we have to do is to become more aware on gun violence intervention, evidence-based programs to actually work. Retired Norfolk Police Officer Richard James warns that adults should secure their guns. No child should have access to a firearm. It is a dangerous tool. People that work here at Bob's Gun Shop in Norfolk say there's many ways that you can safely secure your gun at home, especially if you have young children. A couple tools can be this here lock box, a trigger lock, and gun safes. You have to take a different approach to what was happening 15, 20 years ago because of the time that we're living in now. It's just totally different. Both Rutman and James agree that these shootings are another way to raise awareness on this issue and say it's up to parents to have open conversations with their loved ones about gun safety. They need to have a, a conversation with the friends of their children and their parents of the children where the children visit about gun safety and that this is something that we need to take very seriously. Police in Newport News told us the father of the toddler is facing drug charges as the child's death investigation continues and other charges are pending. Meanwhile, in Portsmouth, 20-year-old Jaquan Askew, a man who police say was inside the home at the time of the incident, has been arrested and charged with allowing access to firearms by children. In Norfolk, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.